Unit 3, Lesson 10. What are percentages? Number 1. What percentage of a dollar is the same value of each coin combination? A. 4 dimes. 4 dimes is 40 cents, which is the same as 40 hundredths, or 40 out of 100, which is 40%. B. 1 nickel and 3 pennies. One nickel and three pennies is eight cents, or eight one hundredths, or eight percent. C. Five quarters and one dime. Five quarters and one dime equals one dollar and thirty-five cents, or one hundred thirty-five hundredths, or one hundred thirty-five percent. Four dimes is forty percent of one dollar. One nickel and three pennies is 8% of one dollar. And five quarters and one dime is 135% of one dollar. Number two, A. List three different combinations of coins, each with a value of 30% of a dollar. 30% of a dollar equals 30 cents. Different ways to represent 30 cents are one quarter and one nickel, three dimes, or 30 pennies. There are many other ways to represent 30 cents or 30% of a dollar. This was just three of them. B. List two different combinations of coins, each with a value of 140% of a dollar. 140% of a dollar is one dollar and forty cents. One dollar and forty cents can be represented by five quarters, one dime, and one nickel. Another way one dollar and forty cents can be represented is four quarters and four dimes. Remember, there are many ways to represent a dollar forty. These are just two of them. Five quarters, one dime, and one nickel, or four quarters, and four dimes. Number three. The United States government used to make coins of many different values. For each coin, state its worth as a percentage of one dollar. A. A half a cent. A half a cent coin could be represented as five tenths of a percent or half a percent. B. 3 cents would be represented as 3%. C, 20 cents would be represented as 20%. D, a two and a half dollar coin would be worth 250% of one dollar. E, a five dollar coin would be worth 500% of one dollar. Number four. Complete the double number line to show percentages of $50. This number line on top is counting by $12.50. 0, 12 dollars dollars $25, $37.50, $50, $62.50, and $75. The number line on the bottom is counting by 25%. 0, 25%, 35, 75, 100%, 125%, 125%, and 150%. Let's look at the instructions one more time. Complete the double number line to show percentages of $50. So on the top number line, find 50. Now look directly underneath it. The green number line shows 100%. Since we know that 50 is 100% of 50, the two number lines match up. Number 5. Elena bought 8 tokens for $4.40. At this rate, how many tokens could she buy with $6.05? I decided to make a table and I put the number of tokens on the left and the amount of dollars on the right. 
eight tokens for four dollars and forty cents. In order to figure out the value of just one token, I needed to divide the number of tokens by eight, and I needed to divide the dollar value by eight. Eight divided by eight is one. Four dollars and forty cents divided by eight is fifty-five cents. One token costs fifty-five cents. How many tokens could she buy with six dollars and five cents? Well, each token is worth fifty-five cents, so all we'd have to do is six dollars and five cents divided by fifty-five cents. And six dollars and five cents divided by fifty-five cents is eleven. She'd be able to buy eleven tokens with six dollars and five cents. B. How much do nineteen tokens cost? Well, we know that each token costs fifty-five cents. If she wanted to buy nineteen tokens, we could figure out the cost of nineteen tokens by multiplying nineteen times fifty-five cents. And nineteen times fifty-five cents is ten dollars and forty-five cents. To buy nineteen tokens, it would cost ten dollars and forty-five cents. Number six. A snail travels ten centimeters in four minutes. At this rate, how long will it take the snail to travel twenty-four centimeters? I made a table and I put centimeters on the left and minutes on the right. Ten centimeters in four minutes. In order to figure out the unit rate or how much time it would take the snail to travel one centimeter, I decided to divide ten centimeters by ten to get the distance of one centimeter. And of course, I have to divide four minutes by ten. Then I multiply the one times twenty-four to get twenty-four centimeters. And of course, I have to multiply the four tenths of a minute times twenty-four, which gets me ninety-six tenths of a minute. It would take 96 tenths of a minute for the snail to travel 24 centimeters. 96 tenths of a minute is the same as nine and six tenths, or nine and three fifths of a minute. B. How far does the snail travel in six minutes? So I made the table: 10 centimeters on the left, four minutes on the right. Divide four minutes by four to get one minute. And divide ten by four to get ten fourths centimeters. It travels in one minute ten fourths of a centimeter. Now multiply the one times six to get six minutes, and multiply the ten fourths times six to get sixty fourths. And sixty fourths is equal to fifteen. So in six minutes, the snail would travel fifteen centimeters. Number seven, A. Three tacos cost eighteen dollars. Complete the table to show the cost of four, five, and six tacos at the same rate. The rate in dollars per taco is going to be the same. It's six dollars, and I got that by taking the eighteen dollars divided by the number of tacos. Eighteen divided by three equals six, so that same rate is going to apply. The cost in dollars. I'm just going to add six dollars each time. Eighteen plus six is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus six is thirty, and thirty plus six is thirty-six. B. If you buy t number of tacos for c amount of dollars, what is the unit rate? Eighteen divided by three gives you the unit rate. So the cost in dollars divided by the number of tacos gives you the unit rate. So I made this addition to the table at the very bottom, where I have C representing the cost in dollars of the tacos and T representing the number of tacos. The unit rate is the cost in dollars divided by the number of tacos, or C over T, since C over T. Represents C divided by T. Congratulations! You have completed Unit Three, Lesson Ten. What are percentages?